just in time. We're going to plant potatoes. We're going to do a couple, three different ways. We're going to check some things out, see if some of the myths are true or not. Come on, let's plant. Now, I've run across these big tubs. This had cattle feed in it. And if you know anybody that's got cows, they probably have a bunch of these laying around. They're trying to get rid of them. First, in this container, I'm going to plant just like Ruth Stout, sort of. I'm going to put the potatoes on top, but I am going to add a little bit of potting soil on top of that to give it a little boost. And then we're going to add some mulch and we're going to let it go. Then this one over here, we're going to plant into the soil. And as they come up, we're going to hill and we're going to see which one produces the most potatoes. As you can see right here, I've got three potatoes just sitting on top. Eyes are doing really well. Now I've got three more potatoes and they're almost all exactly the same size. They're all Pontiac Reds. They're early potatoes, so we should be able to get a harvest before it gets real hot this summer. Let's go over this other container. Now I've chosen this one because it's a little taller. We'll be able to hill this a little bit more. Of course, the soil I dug this morning, a little, little soggy. But anyhow, I'm just going to plant them down just a little bit, not too far. Just cover them up. So now we've got three in each. So I'm just going to cover the top maybe a half an inch. Just enough that just a little more composty kind of potting soil. And over here just the same. And I'm not going to cover these potatoes completely up with this soil. You're going to still be able to see them. And then I'm going to throw some mulch on here. We had a viewer write in this morning. Said if you want to understand your mulch, the mulch has got to understand you. I don't know what that means, but sounds good. So I just took a little bit of mulch from one of the piles in the garden. Got some leaves, some hay, some wood chips. And I'm gonna put it on kind of heavy on this one. Because we're not gonna add any more soil to this one. Now on this other one, I'm gonna put just a little on top because I'm gonna have to pull it back each time we go to put soil in it. But I do want to have that moisture covering. Put the rest of this here. There's the beginning of our test. Now let's go plant like real. And, and what am I gonna do with the third bucket, you say? I'm glad you asked. I'm gonna do sweet potatoes in this one. But that won't be for a month or so. Right here was the last row. We left our pitchfork in, mark where it was at. So we're just gonna open up some more trenches and we're gonna get ready to plant. This is the newest part of the garden, and you can get a sense of how deep that mulch actually is when I laid it down. Now I showed you Whaler's recipe, just mixing it together on top. That's one way, nice, light, fluffy. That works really well. But if you're in a hurry or you got a lot of area, you just put in whatever you have in piles close to each other, kind of mix it together. But then you need to read your mulch. You're gonna dig down to bare soil. You can either do it by hand I like to do it in these trenches and that allows me to fill in low spots. It also allows me to continue to mix. And on the rare occasion you turn up a critter, it's nice to have a pitchfork in front of you. Most of these are Pontiac Reds. I got some Yukon Golds and these are early potatoes. They like the cool weather much better than they like the warm weather and they grow very fast. These are determinate, so they're only going to grow at the root level. For some of your indeterminates, if you hill them up, they're supposed to make more potatoes. Now that we got some rows opened up, Let's go ahead and get some of these in. Now this is how easy it is, just like Ruth Stout. And then, you just cover them back up with your mulch. It's really that simple.
These will be protected from the frost as they get the roots going. By the time they come out of the ground, we should be good to go. Whew. Full disclosure, cats did bring a little vole up to the house, so I know they're hunting them. Help me get them voles. Don't know if they came out of the garden, but I did put a handful of castor oil down each one of these rows before I put the potatoes in. Better safe than sorry. I'll tell you, when you got a little oasis in August, the critters know where it's at. Just a preventative measure. So we got all the potatoes in, we got onions coming up, got garlic coming up, round two. Round one's up there by the greenhouse and they're doing just fine. And we do have some seedlings that we need to go in the garden, but we're just a little early. We got a little bit of frost coming up this week, so I got a little time. I'm probably gonna put more sweet potato slips in containers. I need room on the counter to grow some more slips. You can do this too. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you.